Guys, it is uh, Thursday, April 2nd, and um, I hope that we can do some pretty quick notes here today. There's not very much for me to go over with you. So um, we are mostly going to talk about the oral cavity um, and so the structures that you find in your mouth. This is a picture of page 864 from your textbook, and we're going to label some of these structures. Now, it's not identical to the picture on page three of your packet, um, but it is very similar. So you can use the textbook to help you, but I have the actual picture from your study guide right here. Um, there is one extra thing I want you to add. Notice this line right here is not on your packet. I want you guys to add that little label there, which we'll go over in a minute. So we're just labeling here today. So um, <clears throat> we're talking about the oral cavity and so basically like that's your mouth hole, but there's a lot of stuff going on in here. Um, when we think about digestion, <clears throat> excuse me, and the way that food passes through, <clears throat> excuse me, we um, basically have holes and opening in which food passes through, but our mouth actually has a ton of accessory structures, things that food doesn't pass through, but they assist in digestion. So we're gonna go over a lot of those. So just the whole space, your mouth basically is your oral cavity. Um, you are familiar with your lips. They're, they're on the outside, your fleshy appendages on your face. Um, and the space between your lips and your teeth, okay, that area right there is called the vestibule. A vestibule is sometimes um, described in like a home or a building as like the entranceway like Great Falls High's new hub has a vestibule. Um, it's basically like that first entrance that you kind of move between the two doors in. Um, and so I'll think of this as sort of like the holding place before you actually get behind the teeth and into the mouth itself. That's the space, the vestibule. Um, and we have the tongue, <coughs> excuse me. <clears throat> Then we have the tongue um, right here. It's got all the line structures on it. And um, its main job is to move and position food. It's used in the swallowing reflex when it pushes food to the back of your throat. That part's automatic. It also positions food underneath your teeth as you chew, uh, which maybe you've accidentally bit your tongue before as you were eating food. Um, it can get in the way if we're not careful. And then there's this little structure that basically anchors your tongue to the bottom of your um, oral cavity. Mm, right there. Any of you guys know what that is? It's called a frenulum, the frenulum. Sometimes people, like if you've heard of a frenulum piercing, it's that right there. Now, the one underneath your tongue is called the lingual frenulum. You have other frenulums too. In fact, if you push your tongue in the vestibule on the top of your lips, mm -hmm, right in there. You also have, <coughs> excuse me, <clears throat> a little attachment um, for um, the lip to the kind of front of your teeth area. So there is also kind of another frenulum up there as well. All right, let's see what else we got. The um, bone here up top is the maxilla bone. In fact, this isn't labeled, but this bone down here would be your mandible that your bottom teeth are attached to. Um, but the extra line I had you guys add right here is going to the hard palate. So when you put your tongue on the roof of your mouth and you feel the hard portion there, you're touching the bone, the maxilla bone, um, but that's the hard palate, <clears throat> the roof of the mouth, and that separates your nasal cavity from your oral cavity. <clears throat> the further you move back here, you get to the soft palate, which is mostly made out of it's kind of some fleshy tissue, and the little dangly piece off the end of it is called the uvula. When the doctor says, open your mouth and say, ah, you can do that to yourself in the mirror, you can see your uvula hanging down. It's just basically an extension of your soft palate. And if you still have yours and they're not removed, um, attached to the uvula are gonna be some of the tonsils. Your nasal pharynx is, we talked about the pharynx as being like your throat, 
kind of the back of your mouth area and it's divided into different sections. The nasal pharynx is the top part. No food ever is in the nasal pharynx. Okay? That's the connection between the throat and the um, nose. If you ever laugh so hard you squirted no milk out your nose or something like that then maybe yes you've had it up there but um, food does not pass through the nasal pharynx but it does pass through all the other parts of the pharynx so um as i was just mentioning those tonsils the palatine tonsil is attached to the soft palate that's where its name comes from and then you have another tonsil at the back of the tongue like this is the lingual frenulum this is the lingual tonsil attached to the tongue your linguistics your tongue helps with speaking and so lingual linguistics and all these things associated with it. Okay, um, the hyoid bone is this bone um, that's right here in your neck region. It is the only bone, if you remember from skeletal unit, that doesn't articulate with another bone. But as you can see, there's muscle and um, all of these other cartilages that are super important for our throat that are attached to it. And so the hyoid bone is held in place by cartilage. In particular, this important fleshy piece of cartilage that covers up this tube right here. Um, <clears throat> let's see. All right, we'll get to that in a second. I forgot what order these were coming in. So your oropharynx, okay? So this is essentially like when you swallow food, that's gonna be the first part of the pharynx that food goes to is the oropharynx, the oral cavity and pharynx where they meet up, not the nasopharynx. Um, and when you do swallow that food, we do not want it to go down um, the wrong tube. So your epiglottis, this cartilage right here that's attached to the hyoid bone is going to fold down and fold from basically here to here when you swallow that action of swallowing and it's going to cover up the trachea, right? And your trachea um, that prevents you from choking. And then um, hopefully as you're swallowing that food, as it passes through the oropharynx, it's going to go down to right here. That's the larynopharynx um, and basically really close to the larynx. Thank you, epiglottis, for making it so it doesn't go down all the way into my larynx, um, my voice box area. <clears throat> then it would cause choking and you might cough it up or heaven forbid it gets stuck. So hopefully then the food passes from the larynopharynx down to the esophagus. And that's the fleshy tube behind your trachea. Um, it doesn't have those rings of cartilage holding it open like the trachea does, but food passes through. Um, as I said, super short and sweet today. Um, thank you, Norm, for not very good attention, but at least it wasn't distracting. And uh, your homework assignment is just identifying a lot of these structures. Have a great day. Bye.